All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you in proximity of the Rock Cave. We are on location, as I said, through uh, the middle to the end of next week. I'm your host, Mark Pierce, here at Song of the Day. We've got some, uh, well, we've got something fun today because actually today is a big anniversary in the rock and roll world. It's a big one for me, maybe the biggest one on my show pretty close to it but we're going to move that to next week when I can actually broadcast from the cave because we need to get something that's there so what are we doing today today we got a birthday it's none other than Randy Newman who's 77 years old today there's uh there's a lot to say about Randy Newman and his uh, career people don't really talk about him very much but he has been around for a long time again born in LA to a family that was uh Hollywood movie producers of music so uh that's a huge family together with his family they've got 92 grammy nominations how about that so he started when he was 17 the first time we became aware of him or i did was in 1977 when he came out with that song short people remember that one all over the radio i thought it was a novelty song he calls it that now but uh, i don't think it intended to be that uh in the in the beginning but uh so he wrote this song short people very catchy um people did not understand that the song was written by the the viewpoint of the, the person saying the words, the singing. Uh, we got a visit, visitor from the garbage truck here. Uh, so they didn't get it. They didn't understand that it was him writing from the view of someone who was a complete and total jerk and that it wasn't his own opinion about short people and he got a lot of hate mail and a lot of flack for that. So I think he tried to, I don't think he really cares for that song, but that's the first time we ever heard that, uh, his voice before, at least I did as a kid, like I said. Wouldn't see him again until 1983. He puts out this song. Uh, he basically was lounging around LA trying to figure out how to get a record going, and he was on a plane talking to Don Henley of the Eagles, and he says, you should write a song about LA. You're from LA. And uh, he's like, oh, maybe I'll do that. So sat down, was thinking about another piece that he had, put them together, and he put out this track called I Love LA in 1983. It was on heavy rotation on MTV. It was on all the time. Uh, granted, there weren't a ton of videos in that time, but still, I remember it to this day. Great video, lots of fun showing different uh, places in LA. Uh, and that went to number 10. And uh, it's just a great, fun song. Later on, he'd be going into film scores, and that's all he's basically done the rest of his career for the most part. Obviously, uh, You've Got a Friend in Me was his biggest hit. Um, but he's won seven Grammys, three Emmys. Um, pretty major uh, deal, right? I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. So let's get back to I Love LA. That's the song of the day today. 1984, the Summer Olympics, Nike used this song in their commercial so that vaulted that song into the, pop, the popularity as far as uh, even more so everyone pretty much knew that song around the world at that point um who's that singing backup in this song anyone know who that is in the background singing on in i love la none other than christine mcvee and lindsey buckingham of fleetwood mac singing backup see if you can notice their voices in the song that's pretty cool right and on a side note, I got a lot of great memories uh, in LA. I got family out there. I got friends out there. Uh, we got the Ferrises. We got the Horvats. We've had a lot of adventures and misadventures. Too many to list out there. Uh, but so much good time on the West Coast. Can't wait to go back there again. Shout out to Simsies with this t-shirt. Caroline scored me this shirt. Not available to the public. It's a pretty special shirt. But if you don't know what Simsies is, uh, if you're ever out in LA after the pandemic and Simsies is around to serve you some awesome food, go ahead and do that. And I am not getting paid by Simsies to say that. All right, we're done. It's pretty short today, right? Song of the day is I Love LA, Randy Newman. Play it, tell me what you think. See if you know this song. It's a fun video. Check it out. It's a Saturday. Enjoy it. And as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>